All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at Boolean operators and relational operators. So first, let's take a look at the Boolean operators. So we have three Boolean operators, the and, the or, and the not. So with the and and the or, if we think about those, these are, these are what we call binary operators. So they require two operands. We'd have something on the left-hand side and something on the right-hand side. And normally, whenever we start talking about Boolean operators, we want to look at what's called a truth table to see what happens with regard to what expression we have on the left-hand side and what expression we have on the right-hand side, whether this be true and this be false, or they both be true and they both be false, whatever it may be. So let's take a look at what we call a truth table to see what happens. So here we have A and B, and A and B are just going to be representative of some Boolean expression that resolves down to a true-false value. So when we think about Boolean, we need to think about true-false. And this truth table basically defines what happens. If they both are false, so if we have A and B both being false, then the whole expression is false. If we have one of them being false and the other one being true, and we're doing the AND operation, well, there's still uh, the overall expression is false. And the same thing if we had true and false. So it doesn't matter on the ordering here if we have both of them being false and the whole thing is false. So the only time with the AND operation, that Boolean operator, is if we have both A and B being true. Uh, so you may want to think of an example uh, such as in the United States. In order to vote, you have to be both a United States citizen and at least 18 years of age. So you'd have to meet both of those requirements, assuming that you don't have any sort of criminal record. You may or may not be able to vote. So that would be a case where you would make use of an AND operator. Whereas the OR operator, the only thing required for that one is one of the two operands to be true. So we can have A or B being true, and the whole expression is being true. The only time in which we get the whole expression, this whole thing here being false, is if both A and B are false. So we see that that's false there, but the rest of the time we end up having uh, the value of true for the overall expression. And that should make uh, sense intuitively because and means we need both or just simply means we need either one. So that's the uh, truth table there for the and and the or operator. Now for the not operator, it's what we call a unary operator, but we could also look at a, a truth table for it. So unary just means it operates on one operand. So here we have an example where we have some Boolean expression A. If A turns out to be false and we said not A, then the whole expression would be just true. And then if we had A being true and we said not A, then that would result in being false. Uh, so oftentimes you may want to ask a question in a not manner to see if this is not true. Is you know the person not 18 years of age? Are they not 21 years of age? Are they not over some particular weight limit? So whatever it may be, and you can express things uh, in that way. So those are our uh, Boolean operators, and now let's take a look at the relational operators. So I'm going to only look at six of the eight relational operators supported by Python, uh, and that's the less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, and this is what we call the equivalence or the equal uh, to operator. So this tests to see if two things are equal to one another, if they're equivalent to one another. And notice how we use the two equals as opposed to just a single equals. The single equals just means assignment. Double equals means equivalence. Uh, and then we have the not equal to. So this just tests to see if two things are not equal to one another. And all of our rela relational operators here are what we call binary operators once again. So they have to have two operands, something on the left-hand side and something on the right-hand side. And we can combine both our, our Boolean operators and our relational operators into m much more complex expressions, but they would still be Boolean expressions that would resolve down to some true-false value. So let's go over to PyScripter, and more specifically the Python interpreter in PyScripter, and take a look at a few examples to see how we can use these expressions. So we're now over here in the Python interpreter inside of PyScripter, and the first thing that we're going to do is just create a couple of Boolean variables. So Boolean variables have either the value of true or false. So we'll just uh, create a Boolean variable A here and assign it the value of true and create another Boolean variable, B, and assign it the value of false. And notice how false and true both begin with a capital letter. That's very important uh, in Python that you, in fact, associate a capital F with false 
and a capital T with true in order for it to pick up properly in terms of those keywords. So we have those two particular variables, uh, A and B, both Boolean variables, and now we can start creating uh, Boolean expressions. So we could say A or B, and if we did that and evaluated it, we should see true, because as long as one of these is true, the whole expression is true. So you know it could be a very complex expression. In this particular case, B is just uh, assign the value of false, but we could have a very complex uh, expression there that simply resolves down to a true false value. Uh, let's look at another one. Let's say that we do uh, A and B. So that evaluates the faults as we expect because with the AND operation, we require both A and B to be true for the whole expression to be true. We can make use of our urinary operator NOT, so we could say NOT A, which results in faults. We could say NOT B, which results in true. So A was originally true. If we do NOT A, it results in faults. In the case of B, originally it was faults. And if we do not B, it results in true. You can also combine expressions like this. So you could say A and not B. So here we have A being true. We have B originally being false. But if we do not B, that turns out to be true. So we'd end up with true and true. So the whole expression would be, end up being true. So those are some basic Boolean expressions just using our Boolean operators. Uh, let's de define a couple of integer variables. So we'll say x and assign it the value of 10. We'll say y and assign it the value of 15. And z and assign it the value of, let's say, 5. And we can make use of our relational operators and do something like this. We can say x greater than or equal to maybe y. And since x is 10 and y is 15, we would expect that to be false. And in fact, it is false. And we could do other things. So we could say uh, maybe x less than or equal to y. And in that particular case, we should end up being true, right? Because x is, in fact, less than uh, 10 is less than 15. So we end up with true there. Uh, let's do this. So the nice thing about Python in comparison to some other high-level languages like C++ and Java is that we can write uh, relational operator expressions like this. We could say x less than or equal to y, and then we could say maybe greater than, test to see if that's greater than z. So x less than or equal to y, greater than z. In C++ and Java and some other languages, you wouldn't be able to write this particular expression here. The way that you would have to write that would be x less than or equal to y and y uh, greater than z. That would be how you would have to write it. Python supports that, but you don't have to write, it, write the expression that way. You can just write it the same way that you would write it in a math class, where you just say x is less than or equal to y, and then test to see if y is uh, also greater than, than z, and that resolves down to being true. So y was, in fact, greater than or equal to x, and y was, in fact, greater than uh, z as well. We can combine relational operators and also Boolean operators, so we could have maybe the expression like this where we did uh, what we had before and then do an AND operation and test to see if X is greater than or equal to Y. So in this particular case, it should resolve down to false, even though this part here is in fact true. Since we just evaluated that, we know that that's true. We know that X greater than or equal to Y is in fact false because we evaluated that earlier. So X is 10. Y is 15, so yeah, 10 is not greater than or equal to 15, so that's false. The, so that makes this whole expression false. So we could have that. Uh, if we change that to an OR operation, you can see that the resulting value from doing that OR operation would just be a true. And what else can we do? We can do X maybe not equal to, so we can test out not equal to Y. And we know that x is not equal to y because x is uh, 10 and y is 15. So that should return the value of true. If we test for equivalence there, then that should result in false. And I will do, let's see, let's do one more. Let's say, let's see, we'll go back and do some of our uh, compound expressions here. So we'll have this and then we'll say maybe and here and then do another OR operation here where we say Z less than X. So if we did that, we would see that that resolves down to true. So it turned out that this very first part here 
where we did x is less than or equal to y greater than uh, z, we know that that resolved down to being true because y was greater than x and x is greater than z, but this part here ended up being false. So this whole expression here, this part uh, that I'm highlighting or trying to highlight, resolved down to being false, but that's okay because we have this or operation over here, and if this part ends up being true, then this whole expression, this whole Boolean expression ends up being true. So you can have very complex uh, Boolean expressions in Python, so you can keep going and chaining on additional and and or expressions onto this. And what you'll see is that we'll have uh, these Boolean expressions sometimes used in like decision statements. So you could say something like uh, the statement that we had before, and then we could say if that particular expression is true, then maybe we do some particular operation. In this case, I'll just do a print statement and print out Boolean expression is true, and we can see what the result of that is. So since this particular expression resolved down to being a true value, then it executes this statement associated with it, and it prints that out. So that's uh, a basic overview of the relational operators and the Boolean operators, and, and probably the best way to get comfortable of what all you can do with those is just to open up the Python interpreter and play around a little bit with the relational operators and the Boolean operators, see what syntactically is correct, you know, see you know, what happens whenever you try to make use of a unary operator and try to provide two operands, or if you try making use of a binary operator, and you only supply one operand. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it gets you in the right direction in terms of understanding Boolean operators and relational operators and being able to combine those together. Certainly the uh, examples that we gave here may be a little bit dull, but uh, they certainly showcase what can be done. So we'll uh, look at some more stuff in the next video.